Can you use OmniFocus if you have to use a Windows PC at work? This is a question I get a lot. And it's a good question, right? Because if you use all Macs for your personal devices, but you have to use a Windows PC at work, does it make sense to use OmniFocus? Or are you just going to get frustrated and bogged down because there is not an OmniFocus app for Windows? Well, the answer is yes, you can actually make great use of OmniFocus, even if you have to use a Windows PC at work. So one option to do this would be to use OmniFocus for the web a web client for OmniFocus that was released recently. But unfortunately, OmniFocus for the web doesn't have all of the features that the OmniFocus apps for the Mac, for iPhone, and for iPad have. But there is a better solution. If you own a Mac or an iPad personally, but you have to use a Windows PC at work, just put your iPad next to your laptop at work or next to your desktop at work. Now, I've got a Mac here, obviously. It's a MacBook Pro, right? But imagine this is a Windows computer. You can go ahead and put your iPad on your desk right next to your Windows PC and use OmniFocus this way. And the beautiful thing is that OmniFocus on iPad is fully featured. It can do anything you want it to do. So, for example, if you have taken or would like to take my OmniFocus 3 video course, I explain how to set up and use OmniFocus to get stuff done. I teach a simple system that you can trust. This system works perfectly if you just use OmniFocus on iPad. So you could bring your iPad to work, put it on your desk next to your work computer. Or you can just bring your actual laptop to work and put that on your work desk next to your Windows PC. This way you can use OmniFocus. Now there's just two things that you want to think of if you do this. First thing is getting tasks into OmniFocus. I recommend just typing them into your iPad or typing them into your computer, um, which you have next to your work PC, right? Into your, into your MacBook or MacBook Pro um, or MacBook Air or whatever MacBook you have, right? Um, but an alternative way is to use MailDrop. I'll show how to do that real fast. I have another video showing how to do that in more detail, but I'll just show it real fast right here. Let's say you're on your Windows computer. Again, pretend this is a Windows computer. You've got an email you'd like to process it in OmniFocus, okay? So go ahead and forward that email to your personal unique OmniFocus MailDrop address. So that's this one right here. If you don't know how to set up OmniFocus MailDrop, you can go ahead and watch my video on how to do that. Click Send, and what's gonna happen is on the iPad, in the inbox, that's going to be showing up pretty soon. Dum, 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 dum. Let's refresh. Refresh again. There we go. Here's that email that I just forwarded. It's now on my iPad in my OmniFocus. So that's one of the things you want to think about if you use this technique of just bringing your laptop or your iPad to work. Again, it's not as ideal as if there would have been like a fully featured OmniFocus client for Windows, but there isn't. And I think this is a pretty solid solution. And you can really make use of the system I teach in my online course perfectly when you do things this way. So that was the first thing to think about if you go this route. Second thing to think about is displaying your calendar. Now, one of the beautiful things about OmniFocus is the forecast perspective, where you can see not only the tasks that are due today, if you follow the system that I teach, the tasks that you have planned to work on today, but you can also see the events on your calendar right in OmniFocus. So if you don't have OmniFocus on your work PC, right, which you won't, you still would like to be able to take the calendar that you have on your work PC and get it into OmniFocus, either on your iPad, on your MacBook, or however, right, whatever device you're bringing to do this on. So just see if you can get a calendar feed that you can pop into your personal um, calendar on your iPad or on your MacBook. If you don't know how to do that, just ask me for help. I'd be happy to show you how to do that. For example, you can, like, ex you can set up like a stream to get your Outlook events shown in your OmniFocus calendar because in OmniFocus, right, if we go to the projects or if we go to the um, forecast perspective right here, you know, you can see the calendar events here come from your calendar. So you want to make sure that, you're, that you add your work calendar to your personal OmniFocus. So you might have to talk to your IT department about this as well. Make sure that uh, security wise, they're cool with that. But those are the two things to pay attention to. And really, once you set this up, you can make perfect use of OmniFocus, even if you use a PC at work. So hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, just click the like button or subscribe to the channel and do check out my OmniFocus uh, video course. And the link to that will be in the description of the video. So have a good day.